Hi everyone. So today in this video I want to talk a little bit about common ladder diagram symbols. So with ladder diagrams they're common for troubleshooting most uh, electrical issues. Um, anymore we're kind of trying to get away from the, the complete diagrams and going into the ladder diagrams. They're easier to to design, easier to to uh, create and honestly in, in my unchallenged opinion I like troubleshooting a ladder diagram way more than I like troubleshooting a normal diagram. There's a lot less information there and with that there's a lot less clutter. So today I wanted to talk a little bit about like some of our, our common ordinary buttons that you would see in a ladder diagram. Um, the very first one I, I want to show you would be a uh, just a common ordinary normally open push button um, it's just a just any old common push button you'd find out there on some kind of panel it's just got to be a normally open contact or normally open on the circuit the next one that you would see out there would be a, a normally closed and of course it'd be drawn like this and notice the difference between the normally open, it's not connected, and the line is on top of the two contacts. On the normally closed, the line is connected, and it is at the bottom of the nor of the two contacts. Uh, the next one you would see out there would be uh, this little guy here. It's a normally closed, and it's got a mushroom head on it. A lot of times you would see this little guy on an emergency stop somewhere. Uh, most emergency stops is, are actually required to be a double contact or double redundant. And in this case, when adding the second contact on there, what we're going to do is we're going to add, I'm just going to create a little normally closed deal here, and to have that second contact and to visibly see that it is connected to this one, we're going to put a little dashed line down to its connector here. And that way we visibly can see that there is a, a um, second contact there. Excuse me. The next little deal that we might see out there would be like a selector switch. And I probably should label these. So normally, oops. Normally open. Normally closed. And this is a mushroom. Normally closed. Okay, and again, this is normally closed. Okay. So, the next one you would see out there, like I was saying, is is be a, maybe a two-position selector switch. And depending on how it's set up, it's more than likely going to be set up similar to this right here. And this is the way it would probably be drawn, more than likely, on your your ladder diagram. And if they wanted to label it, they'd probably put like a J or a K or or maybe like an N and a P or something like that. Like N P or on off. <laughs> okay. Um again like I said two position selector switch. Um the next one would be a three position selector switch. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and draw that over here. It'd be virtually the same thing as the two position selector switch, except that we're going to have our four contacts and our connector goes, ver goes straight up rather than that. And again, they'd probably have like M, N, P, or something like that. Okay. And uh, the way that would simply work is you would turn the one position and it would come up and connect these contacts. Then you would turn it to the middle position. It would not touch any of the contacts. You turn it to the last position and it would touch your last two contacts. Same thing with your two position. When it's in this position, it's touching these two contacts. In the next position, it's touching these two contacts. Your mushroom head, when it's pressed with the dual contact, both contacts are disconnected because of this interlinking here. 
So for instance, if this two position selector switch had an interlink here that touched right here, what that would be saying is when it's turned to this position, both positions are opened rather than this being normally closed when in this position and then this becoming normally closed when in this position. Well, it's okay. In this case, it would actually be normally closed, normally closed until turned to this position, and then it would become normally opened. Or then it would become opened. Selector switches, you have to be careful though, by the way, with that normally closed, normally open, because in a selector switch, it depends on the state it's in. If you have a simple on off, you want to know what the position is when it's in the off state, not the position it is when it's in the on state. That's something you have to be careful of. Remember, you want it in the resting position. That's what defines normally closed. So resting position defines normally closed versus normally open. So in your selector switch, if this was your off position rather than your on position, and this was your on position, then this contact, yes, would be normally closed. And because we went ahead and added this, yes, this contact would be normally open, or normally closed, excuse me, normally closed. Anyway. Um. That's all I have to show you in this video. So these are, like I said, these are just some common ladder diagram symbols, mainly buttons and selector switches. So anyway, thanks for watching.